Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. And I have to say, to start this all off, it is good to be back. I have been, uh, I know, away for a minute. I get it. Uh, had some things to do with the family. Uh, work got pretty hectic. And then a little vacation. So, you know, definitely took a little break. My apologies for being away for as long as I was. But, you know, things had to be done. Things had to be done. So, finally back and... Uh, making videos again can't be more excited couldn't be more excited about it really happy so we are back in this campaign and uh god i haven't loaded this game up since we last played it so i'm trying to figure out where we left off we had 6800 troops 10,000 supplies and we were i mean we're pretty much on the winning streak to take guadalcanal that is going to make such a huge difference when we can take that uh what is going on down here in millen bay we're still it looks like they're teetering over just ever so slightly halfway we need more troops down there definitely and then i think the next one we should actually probably go for is Rennell island i think we should pull the troops out of milne bay and shoot them over to Rennell island i gotta be honest i really like that idea i like that idea and i can't remember who it was that also told me i should do that but you know who you are thank you so much so let's do it let's get this game started there is a little Contingency of three ships here. See, we can't get the I-15 intercept. I already have it on intercept course. And other than that, we are just waiting. Waiting to take over Guadalcanal. Do we have any supplies in this ship? We have 150 fuel. So, yes, we do. Go ahead and... Well, I guess we'll get ready to send it all over there when we actually take Guadalcanal. I-16. And, again, we just got to think about this Milne Bay. So, let's get this going. Oh, we also have a fleet up here. Who are you? Oh, you're gonna go rearm. That's right. We uh, had a we had a, we had an actual ship battle. That's what we did up here. That was exciting. So let's see if we can't get another ship battle this episode. Without further ado, let's do it. Happy to be back. Okay, so we are in the area of our Guadalcanal troop with Task Force Eight. Looks like they are not under attack, but our Hayabusa that we sent down to support and try and knock out some of this. Uh, Enemy aerial bombardment that we keep getting over here. We're trying to knock them out a little bit. So we have our Hayabusa's, we have our Japanese Zeros here. Five and five. Looks like we've encountered uh, dive bombers, I'm assuming. So, let's go ahead and begin and try and knock these guys out. We need to certainly get this going. Hello. Come on now. Are these dive bombers? They are dive bombers. And they're going in for the dive. Oh god, oh god. Easy. Survey says, oh my gosh, how are we shot down already from tail gunners? Really? Ooh, direct hit. Looks like only a small bomb that hit us, though. You guys better be taking this guy out, definitely. You better be taking him out. I want them all dead. There we go. Trying to get a couple that are uh, doing some dirty work here. Anyone else that wants to uh, take a shot at us? There we go, nice. One more. One more to do, and I think that'll be it for this. Good God. Hold your plane straight, sir. You got this. Nice. Anybody else? Japanese Zeros flying all over the place. We're just going to hang around and see if there's any other enemy planes kind of lingering. We'll have to increase the speed here just to see if they can come to the party a little faster, but I don't think there is. I think that was it. Sweet. That's three bombers down. We lost one. That's okay. We're going to keep these guys in the area for as long as they can. They have 297 nautical miles for endurance left, and then the Hayabusa is only 76. So they're not going to stick around long, but the Japanese Zeros were certain to be here. Let's continue. Oh, really quick, also for an update. I pulled everybody out of Milne Bay. They can keep that for now. We'll come after that once we take Rennell Island. So everybody is loaded up into these uh, two transport task force groups, and they are headed over to Rennell Island. So as soon as they get over there, I'm sure it'll take about a day and a half. Uh, we'll drop them off. There's zero, zero for everything. So hopefully it's not too much that we have to fight. And Guadalcanal, we're still pretty much right at the same. All right, we have another encounter here with this task force. I have no idea what it is. I didn't see any planes around it, which leads me to believe one thing. It very well might be a submarine. So keep my eye out on the horizon here. We can't have any... We need this Congo to stay in the game, so we can't have anything hitting it. I also don't see any torpedoes, which is a good sign. Okay, it was uh, 
It's planes again. With their tiny little bombs that aren't even attached to the plane. Look at that. What sorcery is this? Hopefully we can knock out some of these. Oh, bloody hell. Good work. I imagine these guys are going to go for the same ones. Always so cool to see the AA coming up. Oh, we didn't even... Ah, she got hit by a bomb. No! That is not what we wanted to see. We need to get back at them. I guess we sunk their ships last uh, episode, though. So, it only makes sense that they get some direct bomb hits. We're not going to take any of those guys out. Is that it? Yes, we can retreat. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Minor little uh, skirmishes here and there, but nothing big. Not seeing any ships, which is kind of a shame, because I hope it's not going to be another 12 episodes before we get our next ship contact. Ladies and gentlemen, confirmed, Guadalcanal is officially under our control. It's just, now we're just cleaning up the, the, the little pieces that are left behind, but we have officially claimed Guadalcanal as our own, which means the airfield should be ours, right? Oh yes, we have some high boosts. Everything needs to uh, build up again, but it is ours. Next is Rennell Island. We will wait to clean up the little scraps of whatever's left over there. And once we are fully in control, we'll send uh, some more troops, probably about 2,000 along with 2,000 supplies down to Rennell Island to assist hopefully with these guys that won't need too much, but we'll find out. But yes, the first major goal of the game is finally ours. We have Guadalcanal under our belt. Hell yes. I think there's a little something like maybe a carrier group or something down in these squares because I'm seeing some planes flying north from here and I doubt they're going west from New Hebrides and then north. It does make sense. I think there's actually a little bit of a, a task force somewhere down here. So I'm going to send the I-15 down and kind of start scouting out. And my suspicions are confirmed. I-15 has just encountered a carrier group. You know what we're going to actually do. Let's have these guys come down and set a course. We'll bring them back, but we have to we have to do something about this. We've encountered with the I-15. Let's go ahead and begin and see what we're dealing with here. If we can knock out the carrier. That'll be the best. Okay, we are pretty close, definitely. So much so that we need to back up, and I'm hoping I back up enough in time. But this is our goal right here. We need to... Yeah, it's just cruising and everything. We need to knock this guy out. Let's go ahead and select number two. Let's go ahead and identify, please. America or carrier group. I believe that's a, yes, it is. It is a Lexington. Go ahead and confirm. And this is our goal. This is our end target right here. I'm thinking we should, oh, I don't know. It's surrounded by so much, it's going to be really difficult to get everything going. We are going to send... What do we got for tar or torpedoes? Two... Oh, we have some... We're good. We are going to send all six at a spread of one degree, just to be sure. If we can knock this out, we'll be golden. Just got to wait for them to get a little closer. Okay, I think this is uh, pretty good. We have an 82% chance as it stands right now. 80... 83. Is it getting better? No, we're going to fire. Let's go ahead and fire all six. This is a pretty good angle. It should be able to miss everything here. We're going to fire, and then we are going to get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go ahead and let's go on out of here. We'll do all the head engine full, and let's go ahead and dive as well. Get out of sight, and let's hope that these are good hits. Oh my gosh, moment of truth. If we can thread right through here and get these hits on the Lexington here, sink it, we're gonna be golden. Because this was what was sending all those planes up north. I suspected it was something like this because it didn't make any sense. There's zero for uh, any kind of port and or airfield on Rennell Island, so they can't be bringing ships from there. They're just pooping them out from the Lexington here. And here they come right here. Hopefully we're on a good line. Oh boy, I don't know. I gotta say, these are looking, those are looking great. Oh my gosh. Moment of truth. Come on, hit them all. Yes. 
I think we missed one, but we hit the rest. I think we missed one, right? Is there one coming through here? Yes, there is. Oh my gosh, can we get lucky and hit this uh, destroyer? Maybe. Come on, I believe. I believe. Oh, it's gonna thread it. It'll just thread it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I will take that happily. Five torpedoes into the Lexington, in right into the ass. Poor thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get a report going here. Critical and critical, yes. Oh my goodness, did we just sink the Lexington? We of course have to stick around and find out. I mean, we have to. It's gonna mosey about right here. We'll keep the I-15 in the area. We, uh, we gotta wait. Torpedo struck by five. Moderate and moderate for this uh, destroyer as well. We might take out this one. We're gonna stick around and make sure that we sunk the Lexington. The Lexington is sinking. It is official. Yes! Lexington is going down. Let's go ahead and uh, dive and go silent again with this. Good night. That feels great. What a incredible carrier knockout. Are we able to retreat? We can. Oh, I thought we were gonna get spotted by that other destroyer. Great freaking work by the I-15. You have earned your stay. I don't even think we really ca I care about the rest of the task force. We can actually just hang out at Rennell Island, and if they want to come play, they can come play over here with us, but... Hell yes! God, that feels great. What a good encounter. I-15s, love these submarines. Alright, the long journey is over now for the people from Milne Bay. We have all our troops and supplies here. Let's go ahead and offload them and see what we are dealing with when it comes to Rennell Island here. Offload everybody, please. 4100, is that everybody? It sure is. Now go to supplies, manage cargo, and offload. Hopefully it's not too much that we're dealing with over here. What else have we got? Oh, 13 troops, we need those, definitely. Rennell Island, oh, beautiful. Rennell Island's ours. They didn't have much on it. Sweet, we are kicking ass right now, hell yes. It was worth it to get, you know, we got bombed a few times by all those uh, U.S. planes, but boy, we just delivered a huge blow to the U.S. I think we should probably go for the Santa Cruz Islands next, right? But we're going to take Rennell Island. We have Guadalcanal. It's, I mean, ugh, a matter of a day, maybe a day and a half, and that'll be completely ours, 100%. I-15 storming around looking for any other aircraft carriers or ships in general, and maybe we'll just even get the I-16 out here now and just start scouting around. I mean, let's do some zigzag patterns. Got our uh, task force, which one are you up here? It does, oh, this is the unnamed task force, that's right. Scouting up uh, Northern Pacific right here above all our islands. And now we can just start coming in and, I don't know, maybe occupy these three islands, might as well get 18 troops into there each so we get the points. And then we have our next goal, which is gonna be Milne Bay and Port Moresby, as soon as we take here. Get the Santa Cruz Islands, maybe, I mean, I don't know. Go down to New Hebrides, be real brazen and maybe try and knock out their port, knock down their ports or aircraft uh, fields, but boy, this has been awesome. I mean, I don't even know what to do now. I feel like we've done so much. I think what we're gonna do is we gotta end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. We have officially taken Guadalcanal, huge, huge uh, objective that needed to be done. We have done it, so good job, everybody, and we took out the freaking aircraft carrier Lexington with the I-15. I mean, five out of the six torpedoes went right into the Lexington and we were able to sink it. God, it feels incredible. Great job by I-15, again. Uh, just super happy with these Japanese submarines. They are so awesome. Um, but I don't know. You know what our next goal is. It's gonna be Rennell, Santa Cruz, and then we're gonna gather everything and do a huge assault onto Milne Bay and maybe Port Moresby at the same time. Maybe do a two-pronged assault. I don't know, I'm thinking, what do we got? 6,000 troops, we have four, so 10,000 troops total. We're gonna get another resupply of troops here soon. What day are we on? We are on day 26, so we have two more days to go before the next resupply. I'm thinking, what's it, it's gonna be about 2,000 more troops, maybe 3,000 troops, let's say, so we'll have 13,000 troops, I mean, 
if we can get two forces worth, uh, I don't know, 5,000 each, that mean, that way we have stuff to actually still defend Guadalcanal and Renal Island, but holy hell. 6,000 troops apiece, 5,000 troops apiece, jump into Port Moresby and Milne Bay. I think we're going to be sitting real pretty, so that's going to be the goal moving forward. If you guys have any tips, please comment down below. Let me know uh, what you want, but that's going to be it for the video today, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. For anyone new to the channel, if you guys have liked what you've seen today and you want to see more videos like this and many more uh, from many other games coming out soon, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy it. Comment down below. Let me know what you all thought. And I'm going to get working on the next video uh, as we speak right now. I'm going to hopefully... <clears throat> I'm going to hopefully start pumping out these videos again here uh, on the regular. Like I said, long break, but I'm back. So try and get two to three videos out a week again like I used to. And until then, I hope you guys have an incredible day. All right? Take it easy, okay?